welcome to the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia. I'm so excited to be here. It's been one of the countries that I really wanted to visit in Africa. And you know how we do it. Every country we visit, we have to explore the city and just show you how the place looks like. Nangadef, Nangadef. Jerry Jeff. <laughs> That's Jamarak, how you respond? Jamarak, Jamarak. <laughs> All right. So how long have you been here? I've been here for about seven, eight months right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Coming from America. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, we've been around this company being around for about th a month so far. We uh -huh. already had some good tours. This is my tour. This is my manager right here, Sharif. Yeah, Sharif yeah. Uh -huh. So today uh, we're going to be exploring the city. What do you love about the Gambia? It is very safe. It's very beautiful. The people are beautiful. The food is good. The life is good. I mean, you know, but can you not love about it? You know, I, I, I can't find too many things that I don't like about it. Put it that way. All right. So <laughs> let's go. Thank you. We have a museum up there, up the, our upstairs. A museum there? Yeah, museum upstairs there. You okay. have to, if you like, you walk, you walk through the step. If you like, you join the lifter and go upstairs. Okay, I thought it was just an art. Yes, yeah, it's an art, but also we get the museum there as well. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Now, we are under the art itself. Sometimes we used to organize our festivals here, like independence celebrations with the presidents. Yeah, when you have occasions, parties, we normally used to celebrate them here as well. At this place, like here, we used to celebrate our independence here. Yeah. I've been in Valley, Valley, and Tula, Valley, and Tula, the Valley, and Tula. So you have a view of Banjo, the ocean, and the ark itself, as you can see. I know most of you didn't think that this ark is actually something or somewhere someone can go up. Yeah, right now we are in the ark to the second and the museum. Inside the museum, here you can see some of our traditional believers, what they believe, what they used to do to protect themselves. So right now you can see, this is protective juju, to protect the wearer from mishaps like accidents. Yes. You're wearing juju hats. Yeah, juju hats. Like this. Yeah, yes. Okay. So from that side, you can come to this other side to see the other side of Banjo. Like I told you, it's like an island. And this is what it looks like from this other side. High Court of the Gambia. Yeah, that's the High Court. On the way to the Independence Drive. That's the Independence Drive. So this is the Independence. Yeah, that's that's the Independence Drive. That's the Independence Drive. So here we will bring our courts. We used to do it them there. The rolling. Yeah, the rolling. Right. Right now you get the motels, Princess Diana. Princess Diana. And you get Odo The other one in front is Kaltin Motel. Okay. Yes. That's Independence Drive. The main street in Banyun. The most famous and the main street in Banyun. Independence Drive. Sur 
Maliko Mbolo my dole Suwaliko Mbolo my dole Okay so this is the statue of Yaya Jame that was removed from the ark at the roundabout it was brought to the museum and i'm told it's made of bronze including those two and you can see lots of other statues here at the museum in the gambia <laughs> With this, do you just make necklaces, bangles? What else do you make? What are the items that you make with silver? Yes, we make different kind of items here. This is this is this is bracelet. Mm -hmm. You see, all of them is filigree, handmade. You see, uh -huh. and this also. You see, uh -huh. you see? different design I have here. Uh -huh. Yes. Is and it all original uh, silver? percent silver, sterling silver. This is really amazing. I've really never known how these things are made or you know how this jewelry are made. Most of the time we just buy and wear them and it's at least very beautiful to see that local people here, you know, Gambians are actually making this using their hands. So whenever you visit the Gambia, make sure you check these people out. Get yourself something, you know, something original, something made in the Gambia by a Gambian inside the museum. So inside the museum compound, you are able to check them out. And the museum here is the National Museum. Yeah, the National yes, Museum have, of Gambia. We have different museums here, but this oh. is the main one. Oh, the main. Yes, oh. see, see, we have different branches. Yeah. Okay, yes, so the main the branch here. of the National yes, Museum. From here up to Janjambure, we have... So uh The school of the uh, school of medicine the university of the gambia at the independence drive at the uh, royal Tikin hospital at the rvh it's the biggest and the oldest hospital in the gambia the biggest and the, uh, and the, and the oldest hospital in the gambia yeah we'll go you see the main entrance of the biggest and the oldest hospital named after the royal family that's why they call it the royal victoria teaching hospital from England, named after the royal family from England. Yes, it was built by the colonial masters. That's the main entrance of the Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital yeah, at the Independence Drive. That's the oldest and the biggest hospital in the history of the Gambia. Right now, we are walking through the Independence Drive. It's the most busiest street in Banyun, in the city of Banyun, the Gambia. You can see we are walking through the Independence Drive.
Hello guys, you can see the photo of George Floyd around the Gambia at the city of Banjun around the Independence Drive. The guy artist who, 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 who printed here, the name is G. Trix. He can remember George Floyd, I can break Black Lives Matter. George Floyd. <music> Right now we are we are we are coming out of Lancaster to Primate Street. Right now we are in Primate Street. So in the Primate Street here, I want to show you some of the colonial buildings, old buildings. You can see this red building and then this other one is old town, very very old buildings. Yeah. That's, that's Primate Street. This street name is Primate. New primate. Uh. So, he works so fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's my nature. He works? Work so yeah, yeah, he's very fast in walking. Who stays here? Uh, the, the, the local, local people. people. Local people. Tell Street. Uh -huh. Moving towards at the Kim Fahad Mosque. If when you stand here, you can see the building of Kim, Kim Fahad Mosque. Uh -huh. Yeah, from here, I think you can spot it, yeah? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Hey, Madrid, get here, bro. Is it the biggest or oldest mosque? It's the biggest and the oldest mosque in the Gambia. Named after the king of Saudi Arabia. That's why they call it Kim Fahad Central Mosque. The biggest and the oldest mosque in the Gambia. Uh -huh. yeah, it's named after the king of Saudi Arabia. We are opposite the King Fahad Central Mosque in Banyun. So you can see opposite, that is a high school, St. Augustine Senior Secondary School. Oh, it's a Christian school? Yeah, yeah, it's a Christian school, but both Christian and Muslims join the school. You know, in Gambia, we don't have religious conflicts. Christian oh. and Muslims, we do things together. When is when is the Christmas? We celebrate together. When is the Eid? They join us. We celebrate. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we are entering at the King Fahad, King Fahad Central Mosque. This is the main entrance of the King Fahad Central Mosque. Right now we are at the Albert Market, at the entrance of the Albert Market, we are by the President's home, the State House of the Gambia. So right now we are at the statue, 
the statue of Banyun, the founding father of this start, the town of Banyun, the men and women, the couples, Kumba and Samba. You can see Kumba having the calabas. It's having the calabas where you used to put milk and porridge in those days. Samba with the three pieces, the Garambuba, that's traditional Gambian dress or traditional African dress, whatever. Yes. We are at the park of the Makati Square, but here used to be a monument, a, a kind of monument. There is the Makati Square. Now they change it to July 22nd Square by the former regime of Yaya Jambe. Yeah, he changed all the colonial names to the Gambian names. He believed that we used to use our ancestors' name to the colonial regime, from the colonial regime. So my sister, you can see at the back of the market, you have this colonial building. A lawyer is living there. It's a very, very old building, Antoine Gay. Now we are heading to the market to have inside at the Albert Market. To have the view of the market. A kilogina volanteri kendola. So here you can see that's the income and exercise, custom revenue. The Gambia Revenue Authority. Here, the, here we get is is the first earning income for the government. Yeah, when you when you receive car, when you send cars from Europe. The tax tribunal, you pay everything in this place. Yeah, that's the new building. This one is the ancient one. Yeah. And it's colonial. Yeah, very old. Very old. This one is the revenue house. This is the new building you can see right there. Yeah, that's the recent one. We are at the we are at the main street of the market, the, the, the River Rayson Avenue. Going uh, River Rayson Avenue, going ahead to the main entrance where we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very soon we will be there. Almost you seen the whole banyun. Okay, right now, on the on the left side you have the Nelson Mandela Street. In the Nelson Mandela Street, there you get the wholesale for foodstuffs and some restaurants. You have the King of Sawarma and Alibaba and the soft for the guest nurse. So you can see there, if you have picture, you can see 10 Nelson Mandela Street at the picture there, where you get the shoes and the footballs. You can have there 10 Nelson Mandela Street there. Okay. Yeah. When you zoom it, I think you will get it. Yeah. This side of the market is a new market, so it's a new shopping center. They call it the Beggar Plaza. The beggar plaza. Yeah, here you get get textiles, African dress, the sewn one and not sewn. It's a special market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beggar plaza. Now here we comes at the Banjun Beach. So here you can see right there, that's the power ship. Uh -huh. This power ship is giving electricity to the whole Comba St. Mary's. Yeah, oh. yeah. This is this power ship. It's, 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 it's not so. It doesn't take solar or water. Uh -huh. It takes high voltage petrol. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's sponsored by EU, European Union. Yeah, they leave it here. And beside there, you can see the Johe Ferry. Right now, is the oldest ferry here. It's taking passengers to the other bank in Barra. Oh. Yeah, that is Johe Ferry. Yeah, uh -huh. our ferry it takes everything. It takes people, animal, cars. <laughs> yeah, everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, everything in one ferry. For how much? Yeah, this the ticket for passing is twenty five dollars. Uh -huh. Twenty five Gambian money, uh -huh. Gambian dollars. Uh -huh. Yeah. 13 minutes or 45 minutes uh -huh. drive to the other bank. Okay. Yeah, we have almost three ferries. You have Kanilai, you have Kunta Kinte. 
So these boats you are seeing here, they are wooden boats, but also they are only for fishing. You have fishing boats, the other side you have passenger boats. So you can see the market was named after Prince Albert, the former victorious husband. That's why they name it after the Royal Albert Market. The market is divided into four sections. It's the biggest and the oldest market in the Gambia. So you are getting inside the market, but before getting inside, you have to go up and get the London Bridge. Okay. Whereby you can get the view of the market.